Hi there, I'm Kate Clavett from Atlassian's IT Service Management Marketing Team. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Atlassian's status page. Just note, this isn't a deep technical dive, but a high-level overview of how status page can streamline your incident communications, keep your customers and stakeholders in the know, and take the stress out of every incident. This video will provide a little bit of background with some slides, along with a brief walkthrough of status page. Then we'll close out with some resources. Let's dive in. If you run a service, you know that downtime is a fact of life. Bugs in production, networking problems, downstream impacts of third-party services, and various other issues can impact your service performance. But with the right type and frequency of communication, you can alleviate the stress your customers and responders feel during an incident. Atlassian's status page is the communication piece of your incident management process. Status page integrates with your favorite monitoring, alerting, chat, and help desk tools for an efficient response every time. Just a note, most of our integrations are on the component level. Let's look at how status page fits in your stack. It helps to understand how status page can improve your communication by seeing it alongside the rest of your tooling. Let's say you host your services somewhere like AWS or Azure. You monitor with tools like Datadog and New Relic, and you probably have some sort of on-call or alert management set up with Ops Genie. We come in for the communication portion of your incident management toolset. Status page empowers you to communicate with users proactively by showing them a status of all of your services and components in one place. It reduces support volume and frees up your team so they can focus on actually fixing the problem. But status page also helps you to strengthen your relationship with your customers. Communicating well, especially during an incident, builds trust, and that's what matters to your customers at the end of the day. We're going to talk through how status page can help you to earn and keep your customer trust with every incident. We'll highlight how our pages can communicate consistently and quickly, show the status of your third-party tooling, proactively notify your customers and stakeholders, expand your reach, and part of incident response is also recognizing the positive. So we'll show you how to show your customers and stakeholders how much uptime you have to remind them that while incidents are disruptive, they're only temporary and most of the time things are working perfectly. Here's Discord's status page. They're using our uptime showcase feature. The page runs on their company domain and is personalized with their branding. So all their customers know exactly where to go. You can customize yours as well. Zoom is also using Atlassian's status page to share the status of all their services and components with their customers. Now let's look at status pages. Status page. Say that five times fast. I can't help but laugh when I see that the web address is meta status page. You can see the status for all of status pages, services, and components here. And let's look at one more example before I take you through the back end. This is Intercom's status page. Here I have you in the back end of my fictional company Bankly's status page. We're going to talk through some of the key vocabulary. So incidents, a pretty self-explanatory, a list of ongoing and past incidents, also maintenance operations, and templates for creating new incidents can be seen here. Components refers to the applications, services, tools, etc. that you need to monitor. You can create components on your own, or you can select predefined components from the third-party applications. And this is where you would pull something in, like perhaps your DNS server or AWS or Google Apps, something like that. Subscribers refers to the list of users, people who are notified when an incident occurs, people who have subscribed to your status page. If you have an audience-specific site, this section will be called audience. Your page, this is where the access is configured and the, st the style of the page is set up. I'm going to pull up a slide for a second here. We have three different types of status pages. There are public pages, which are viewable by anyone without authentication. We have private pages, which require credentials in order to view the page. And we have audience-specific pages. So you can have a set of permissions for what users and groups can view and what notifications they'll receive. This is what the customer sees. This is my demo instance. Obviously can't be playing around in production, right? This is a lot of green. This is our uptime showcase feature. It's nice to visualize your status like this because while everyone has incidents, it also reminds your stakeholders and customers how much uptime you have, keeping things positive. Status page has two levels of permission, product admin and product users. Everything I show you today, I am logged in as the product admin. Admins have the ability to configure, create new pages, manage things, access APIs. 
Think of a user like an incident responder. They can create and manage incidents, maintenance, components, things like that. Let's update the page with an incident. Just add a name, set a status, write an update, and specify what's affected. Since during an incident every second matters, we also offer templates that you can leverage to save time and ensure that you're communicating clearly with your stakeholders and customers. And again, in addition to your own components, you can add third-party components here so downstream impacts are always visible. Let's add AWS. We'll be able to filter down to only the components that we want to track and share the status of. When a change is detected in the status of any of these services, it will be reflected on our page. Now let's talk about how customers stay in the know. Customers and stakeholders can subscribe to your page and receive notifications via the channel of their choice. We've got email, text, webhook, X, formerly Twitter, Slack, Teams, RSS, or Atom feed. Here's an example of what a typical email and text notification would look like. You also have the option to customize the look and feel to reflect your branding. Here, I've taken you into Jira Service Management for Bankly. You'll see that Bankly Inc. has an incident going on, and it's reflected right at the top of the help portal, keeping customers in the know and cutting down on support volume. We have many out-of-the-box integrations you can access to share out your status, but you can also leverage our API to share your status page on your company's app, website, or knowledge base. Some of the best companies in the world, many of which you probably use, rely on status page to build trust with every incident. By communicating well during incidents, companies like these are able to build trust with their users and deliver a great customer experience even in those not so great times. That concludes our brief demo and overview. Here are some other resources you can check out if you're looking to dive a bit deeper. Or you can visit us in the community, and between our employees and community leaders and members, we'll be sure to get an answer out to you. If you're ready to start building trust with your customers and have quick, clear incident communication in your back pocket, start a trial today.